So now let's see how to create that table. So in your MySQL, you can see we have not got that table, right? Even, if, even after running this, it's because, I mean, you have two ways now. One is you can create that table by yourself or you can ask Hibernate to do it. Now the way you can do that, I mean, the way you can ask Hibernate to do that is by specifying a property. So you can say property name as hbm 2 ddlauto Okay, again, you can use control space to get that. And you can specify update. So when you say update, in fact, we have update, we have create. So when you say create, it means whenever you run this application, it will create the database, it will create the tables for you. So for all the entity classes, it will create tables for you. If you say update, if you if you if if, if the table is not there, then it will create, okay? It will not replace your existing table. So now let's see if it is working or not. And if you run this code and okay, so you can see we got a uh, table not found alien, but after some time we see it is saying that schema update complete. Let's verify. Let's go to your MySQL. If I say show tables now, you can see we got a table here which is aliens. Let's verify do we have a data there? So we'll say select star from alien. And if I run this code, you can see we got the data as 101 Naveen Green. So finally, after this four videos or in the fourth video, we got our output, right? So we are able to run, run this application in which we are getting the output in the, in the database. So that's how you store the data inside a database using Hibernate, okay? But there are, you know, the, we, we, we also getting, uh, before, before going ahead, uh, you can just uh, have a round of applause for yourself for completing this, this code here. Okay, now what I will do is, I will create, uh, so see, if you, if you can see, we are getting a method which is deprecated, right? So what happened in the latest, latest version of the Hibernate, which is after 4.1, we got a new class or new interface which we, have, which we need to use to work with uh, session factory. Now, what is that method? So, there's an interface called as service registry, uh, not of this package, we'll say service registry. It belongs to package org.hibernate.service. In fact, Hibernate provides you lots of services. One of the services which you have to use is service registry. We'll say reg equal to new service okay so now we have to use service registry builder because that's that's how you can create an object so we'll say service registry where is that service registry builder and then we can say dot apply settings so you have to apply the settings of the con object so it's not setting it is settings you have to remember that settings and then in this you have to pass the object i mean you have to pass the properties now, how do we do that? We say con dot get properties because all the configuration is there inside this con in this inside this con object, right? So we'll say properties dot. Then you have to say build build service registry. By doing this, you are getting the object of registry. Okay, so you have to say new service build service registry builder, apply settings, and then you have to say build service registry. Now, once we got the object of registry, we can pass that here. We can say reg, and now you can see the deprecated method is not there. So we can we have got build session factory, and now it should work. If I run this code, and we got error. Now, what is this error? You can see it says duplicate entry 101. It's because we already have 101 in our table, right? So if I have to say 102, this time let's change our alien name. We'll say this is uh, Mridula and let's say we have a color here which is blue. So Mridula is in blue color. Let's run this and you can see we have, okay, so we got our schema update. Let's go to database to verify if I run this code, you can see we got two entries now, 102 Mridula and blue. So that's how you use uh, Hibernate to store data into database. Uh, there are lots, lot of more, con lot of concepts remaining in this. So that will be saying in the subsequent tutorial. So make sure after before going ahead, like this video if you liked it and do subscribe for further videos. Thank you so much.